the prospect field is going to be apparent uh, until further notice. To three point two, which is four by South Fifth Avenue. Posting everything is done. Okay, we have a draft resolution that was prepared. Okay, so the draft resolution incorporate everything that. Talk about it. Oh, we have sound or anything. On the resolution that we want. I'm just facing right now. Okay. We can incorporate the city grant for the state commission building. Also, the screen provided on the rear of the property. Cameras at least off the front. And that's actually what we're going to the revised plan we had asked for. Okay. Also, a couple of visions on the 454 South Ninth Avenue. So these are the buy plan from the last meeting that we talked to the Jimmy Dog. Before we go through that, the meeting starts. I mean, this is what you ask on the provider. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. an opportunity to look at the 2024 calendar. Yeah. We have on May 1st at Lenny's Day. Yes. I am actually out of the country. Oh, okay. So, do you want to? Able to do it the following week, great. If not, then... okay. I mean, I'm just going to look at my calendar now and just sure. Let me first. Okay, so do you want to do it the eighth? I would like that. Okay, as, as long as everybody else is in agreement, that's fine. Just make that change. So May eighth will be the meeting date, and the day before on the seventh will be the work session. And I'll put in the submission. Mm -hmm. So 
on here. So, so you have your watch. I don't see anything right now. See if there's problems that we normally do. So I'm not sure if you heard of it. It's May 8th and 7th, of course. No, it's May 8th, the 7th and the 8th, correct? Correct. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. There was a letter from the Westchester County Planning Board statement on affordable housing notification. Did everyone have an opportunity to sort of quickly read that? Let's speak at once. Okay. <clears throat> opportunity, please read that. Um, I did find it interesting that we do have uh, certainly our, our fair share of affordable housing within the city. So, yeah, I think the idea with that is that basically to make like I don't think uh, the board has to do any sort of ruling or anything like that. It's just giving you an up, a notification yeah, of that right. and yeah. kind of asking you to look at that from that perspective when reviewing various uh, mm -hmm. housing related allocations. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And that's it. Fast work session. Is there right. anything <laughs> admitted, admitted creatively that, that we haven't done? Uh, yeah, I've had such a problem to do. You might have noticed we just kind of changed the structure of the agenda uh, this month. Uh, mm -hmm. This was kind of at the convention with the Heston as well as. Uh, us trying to provide like more comprehensive detailed information about every individual application. So we've kind of shortened the main agenda to like a very like absolute basic bullet points. And then we've the, incorporated the, the memo format they were talking about um, a few months back in the place of uh, the commissioner's comments memo which we provided before. And that's just basically the idea is to give you guys and uh, the board as much of a comprehensive uh, overarching view of every individual application beyond what was in the agenda, beyond what, uh, the commission's individual comments. And that's where we're at with that now. Uh, if you have any, if you kind of the board has any comments on that or any suggestions for information that is not in the memos as we go forward with this new format, uh, we can do us and we'll do our best to encourage Thank you. Appreciate it. I know that was your baby that you worked on. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's obviously it's still a work in progress, but right. This was kind of a good one. There's two applications that the board has seen before that are both very relatively straightforward. Thank you. Good. Do we have anything else to discuss in regards to the work session? Um, does everyone have an opportunity to look at the form to fill out for the city email? Yes, yeah. then I can. If everybody gives them to me, I'll, I'll submit every, the whole planning board. And then yeah. in January, right. you won't have links. Right. Okay. And, and PDF handle. Okay. Will it be large enough for us to receive these large? Uh, yes. Because they'll be on the server. Location. Yes. Okay. Also, ask in terms of you know, when years past has been issued, but sometimes it's helpful to have the laptop to be able to have Wi Fi. Yes, I, uh, Catherine, and I were just speaking about that. The commission, social commissioner, me and I were just talking about that before the meeting about getting tablets for you to look at here and then the whole issue with Wi Fi. So, that's something we're going to be revisiting because. Well, that would, I mean, that would be a wonderful thing. So it would be for use. everybody. Correct. Yes. Okay. So, yes, that's on the agenda, as well as um, I know that there was the training that you wanted yes. for all of the boards. And um, I to think invite, to invite the city council as well. Correct. And um, AC Mia did put together a, a, a proposal to Commissioner Rouse, and she's just waiting to hear from him okay. on that. Great. Thank you. Well, with that, that will conclude the uh, work session. And in uh, 10 minutes, we will start our meeting. Okay, thank you.
Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Yeah, You submitted yours last year too, so we don't even have to do that. Right. Um, so don't worry about it, and it does not have to be notified. Because I would really ask the chair to bring this to the say, You're covered, you're good. Thank you. Are we are we just still alive or no? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. He is down here. Do you want me to move him up to the top so he doesn't have to go around? No, because you know what? <laughs> you met him. Okay. She, we may have kids. He said he was going to find out his training. Oh, okay. is he coming from the city? So, yeah. So, oh. so, he, so he may. Okay. Just, I mean, maybe you could do that. I know, because you can never tell on a train. Right. And then get a year.
Public economy preserve. No. Public economy preserve. Yes. Okay. The same class. Yeah. It, it is yes. an angle in that thing. Yes. 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 Okay. All right, we are live. A regular meeting. A regular meeting of the city planning board, which will be held on Wednesday, December 6, 2023. 
at 6.30 p.m. in the Memorial Room in the second floor of City Hall. Applicants or members of the public will be permitted to attend and make public comment via in-person attendance in Zoom. Just for housekeeping purposes, I'll just ask anyone if they have a cell phone, just please put it on that library or silent uh, during the meeting. And if there's any discussion, just to go outside. Um, I'm Daryl Selsey, the chairman of the planning board. I'm going to start with item number one, which is a roll call. Start on my left hand side. Vivian Salmon. Daryl Selsey. Charles Wallace. Helene Jingo. Let the right up that we do have a quorum for today's meeting. Item number two is the approval of minutes for the November 1st, 2023. Uh, Meeting. Do I have a motion to accept the minutes as provided? So moved. Second. All right. We have a motion. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item number three uh, public hearing. This actually is uh, adjourned. It's just 3.1. Case number PB 22 1, 24 Locust Lane, section 159.81. Lock 2032, Lock 2 in the R1 7 zoning district. Yes, this application has been adjourned to the January planning board meeting following to follow the city engineer and consultants to make a determination regarding how to best address drainage and stormwater retention issues. A copy of the updated memo regarding the Rainer Avenue and Berkeley Road preliminary flooding evaluation. Is available on the city's list. So 3.2, case number PB 23 5 and 6, 405 South Fifth Avenue, section 169.31, block 3091, lot 1, in the RMF 6.75 residential district. Regarding public notice, the board received proof of mail, proof of publication, the journal is included of initial sign posting for this application. The board has also received an affidavit of sign posting that on November 11, 2023, the sign was posted at the given site, giving notice of the planning board's December 6, 2023 meeting. The board also received a photograph showing that the sign posting on the property is an updated, providing notice of today's meeting. The applicant is very Freshnik, who is being represented by Shaheen Badali, PT. The applicant is requesting to subdivide the 10,500 square foot property into two 5,250 square foot lots and is also requesting site plan approval. The applicant proposes to construct two single family townhouses on each lot for a total of four single family townhouse units. There will be two parking spaces in the garage under each unit for a total of eight parking spaces. Secret determination is proposed action is an unlisted action under secret. The planning board did assume these agency status at its meeting on October 4th, 2023. Uh, this is a closed uh, hearing, and we did allow staff to put together a draft resolution for this. At this time, has everyone had a chance to look at the resolution? That council and staff have provided to us. Yeah. Incorporates what we had discussed. I need to know if there's anything in addition. Yes and no. How does that lead to it? Okay. Commissioner of Salmon and Trollio. No additional information that is done. Ask that there are a couple of things that I'm not sure it may be in here already, but we did discuss with the grand curbing, which uh, Mr. Dolly has indicated in the plans would be part of the resolution, um, as well as the screening camera plan that was provided and the lighting plan. So Add those to the resolution. Collected on the plan. 
can see that the camera's here. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 And I can see the stuff. So, 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 okay, so just, oh, we do have the granny card. So, everything is okay. All right. All right, with that said, is there a motion to uh, accept the the resolution as presented? So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion. We have a second. Have any further discussion? So we did we did see yeah we, we did at the October 4th, 2023 meeting the project was an unlisted action under CEDRA. And as the only interested agency, we assumed the agency status at the meeting. And after review of part one and part two of the uh, EAS form issued a negative declaration uh, in regards to CEDRA. So I, I stand corrected. Actually, today we are issuing the negative back declaration in regards to secret. Okay. So that's part of the resolution. Uh, page three, uh, 10, paragraph 10. No, we did one and two, yes. Right. So we're just, we're just issuing the actual negative deck as an unlisted action today, mm -hmm. according to our resolution. Okay. Um, do I have all of the uh, questions for the short form? Oh, uh, we, did, we did go over that. But we can, we can, for the record, we can go over it again. Would you like to read it? Yeah. Okay. Environmental 
by well, the proposed action resulted in an adverse change in the existing level of traffic or affect an existing infrastructure for mass transit by gate or walkway. Yeah. Six, will the proposed action cause an increase in the use of energy and it fails to incorporate reasonably available energy conservation or renewable energy opportunities? Will there be an increase in the use of energy and does it fail to incorporate energy conservation opportunities? That's so again, there were, there were small impacts. Seven, will the proposed action impact existing public or private water supplies? That's going to be there with small impact. And B, will it impact existing public or private wastewater treatment facilities? That's the same answer, there with small impact. Number eight. Will the proposed action impair the quality or character of important historic, archaeological, architectural, or aesthetic resources? Yeah. Nine. Will the proposed action result in an adverse change to natural resources, e.g., wetlands, water bodies, groundwater? Air quality, flora, and fauna. Yeah. Will the proposed action result in an increase in the potential for erosion, flooding, or drainage problems? Yeah. And finally, will the proposed action create a hazard to environmental resources or human health? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So with that being done, just for the record, I think it's very done. Would you uh, like to make a motion to adopt the next step on this application? So, so second. Okay, right, good motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think we will then take point seven. Oh, can we still to move? I, I, I made a motion. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that was all the questions. You can now take a vote on the adoption of your motion. Make a motion to accept the resolution. As presented. So moved. Uh, so we have a motion. Second to the motion. We got two motions. Was there a second? Second. All right. We got a motion and second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Carries. Next item on our agenda is a continuation of public hearing. 3.3 case number PB-23-7 and 8, 454 South 9th Avenue, section 169.38, block 30.7. Lots 14 and 15 in the RMS 6.75 in that residential program. Regarding public notice, the board previously received proof of mail and proof of publication in the journal news and proof of initial signed posting for the application. The board also received an affidavit of signed posting saying that on November 11th, 2023, a sign was posted at the site giving notice of the planning board's December 6th, 2023 meeting. The board also received photographs showing the signed posting on the property has been updated, providing notice of tonight's meeting. The applicant is Eric Kreshnik, who is being represented by Mr. Shaheen Badali, PE. The applicant is requesting site plan as well as subdivision approval and to reapportion two existing vacant lots 
14 and 15 for sitting at 10,500 square feet, 2,525 square feet, respectively. Site is located on the west side of South Ninth Avenue on the north of, and to the north of Sanford Boulevard. The applicant is proposing to subdivide the total 13,025 square foot property into four lots to build an attached two family residence on each lot for a total of eight units. Secret determination and proposed action is an unlisted action under secret. The planning board assumed lead agency status at its October 4th, 2023 meeting. Good evening, Mr. Vidal. Good evening. Okay. So on this application, we submitted updated drawings, and within those drawings, we hopefully responded to the uh, comments that we received at uh, last month's meeting, including providing uh, a lighting plan that was provided on sheet A500, as well as a camera plan. Um, and that camera plan does specify a minimum of 60 days reporting period, and that's located on sheet A600. Um, and then on the site plan on sheet A101, we also called out uh, for new granite curving throughout the site, uh, or funding the site, I should say. Um, with that, hopefully we, we we submitted these drawings and and if there's any further commentary from the board, uh, you could please let me know. Okay, Commissioner, before I turn it over to the public, does anyone have any questions for the applicant or Mr. Bellow? Okay, any other commissioners have anything else that they would like to add before I turn it over to the public? Okay, okay. good evening, how are you? Yeah. If you could just for the record just state your name again. I didn't necessarily want to ask that because question questions as much as I wanted to ask the board. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah. You're, you're here. We want to hear what you have to say. So please. Okay. I'm just going to answer this and come a little closer so you can hear you. Okay. One of the questions I have is um, has this proposal been put to the county council yet? Um, yeah, as a, uh, already. As, as, this application mm -hmm. has been, been submitted to yeah. Westchester County. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to ask the question in terms of has the county been notified? We just sent it to the departments um, in Mount Vernon. So, water, um, DPW, city engineer, fire, and police department. So, we hear which, which agencies? No, we did not send it to the county. Okay. Is it uh, licensed to the county? That, that, that's not the, the process. The process that actually comes here. You know, first, it went to, went to the zoning board first. Mm -hmm. Then, after that, it went to the variances. Then, whoops, the, um, the engineer architect, you know, put the plans together, mm -hmm. filled out the application, submitted it to. The planning department for the planning board to make a determination in regards to the application. At some point, does it not does it not get to the county? Does not get to the county. It does not, correct. I, I do want to mention with re the I, I think I'm not 100% sure, but I believe as a part of the reapportionment, the sewer approval will go to the county. I, I think I do have to still submit an application for, in regards to the sewer. To the sewer. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So, in regards to the sewer, something that goes to and something would go to Westchester County. Would or does? It, I'm sorry, go ahead, Council. I will double check the file. If you believe there is a reporting requirement as a general municipal law, and it's usually done in the course of business for the business to double check the file. So, thank you, this. Is referred to the council for review. Okay, so the count council is is going to double check. Mm -hmm. Okay, to see whether or not um, the the county has been notified in regards to this particular application. Um, as the architect uh, engineer just stated, you know that the sewer portion of that definitely um, 
will be reported to the county, but our council is going to to check to see. Yeah, I, I understood the council to say that there um, there's more. I, I understood Ms. Alfred saying it that there's more than just the sewer that has to be rebuilt. Um, she's going to check it. They, 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 they may, um, you know, have to notify of, of you know, of the, of the application of the subdivision, you know, mm -hmm. city, but we're not sure. So our council is checking mm -hmm. just so we can give you an accurate answer. Okay. Now, does the board be notified or does the faculty be notified for the, the planning department? The planning department. The planning department. Mm -hmm. Does that mean when, so when it says that the planning department is the lead department, does yeah. that mean that that's the, that uh, the board is the lead agency okay. in terms of reviewing the application that is before us? Mm -hmm. So I am going to to ask whether or not are we sure that there was no correspondence. We did not for this application, but I'll follow up with Land Use Council to make sure that if they should refer okay. and review okay. to get their comments. Um, as I understand it, that's those comments are advisory. Is that correct, Land Use Council? For the board's review? They, they usually they are advisory. They, they, they don't like have a formal authority that they were required to review it and make comments speak over to. Also, the uh, so this the subdivision gets recorded with the county clerk's office, so um, we do communicate with them at that time. So that so so point that you have to we don't know. Well, what um, Ms. Gavala was just pointing out is that since there is a subdivision, um, that the subdivision you know that will be reported with the county. Okay, so there so there, the county is notified in terms of certain things. Question that you're asking about in regards to the overall application, our council is going to double check on that. But I don't know. So it's I just want to understand this very well. I'm not taking up too much of your time not asking this question. So when it's telling that the proposal gets sent to the county in parts and rather than as a whole, is that what I'm understanding? Well, what you're understanding is is kind of twofold, maybe threefold, um, in that the sewers, that you know, that aspect of the application, that will be discussed with the county. He has to you know, submit that to the county let them know. In regards to the subdivision, that's something that would also be uh, reported to the county in terms of whether or not there was communication in terms of an advisory capacity that the county may have and may uh, communicate that. We're not sure we're going to double check to see whether or not that was something that um, was needed or is needed. Okay, so I'm understanding now that there are two roles that the county has in this proposal. One is just to be advised of what's going on, and the other is to be up, up to approve. No, I know. Am I saying that wrong? Right. Uh, they they don't weigh in in terms of uh, they they don't have a say in terms of the project being the application being approved or not. They okay. still don't. Know. Not necessarily. No. No. As 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 long as you know the applicant and the the engineer provide. The information that would be, uh, I guess, satisfactory, you know, to you know, to the city and to the county, then, you know, if, if there were an issue in regards to the sewer in terms of what is being proposed and what is being done, then they may come back and and and, and you know speak with the engineer. But otherwise, you know, it's just there. You know, notifying them that this is what's going on and showing them that it's being done in a proper manner. Okay, so it has that hasn't been done. Has the county well, well, that's because there there isn't an application that hasn't been approved at this time. It hasn't been approved at this time. 
So it would it would have to be approved for them to actually be notified. Well, the planning board is the one that makes the decision in terms of if it's approved or not, and that's where you are right now. Mm -hmm. You're at the planning board. Right. Okay. And so the planning board approves it. So if 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 the planning board were to approve this application, there are certain things that would take place, you know, and two of them, Mr. Vidalis has just indicated, is that the sewer, you know, plan in terms of what's taking place with the with the, with the house, that would be something submitted to the county. And since there is a subdivision of the property, that's something that would be reported at the county level as well. By this committee, by this board, by the planning board. What happened? Well, yes, yes. So that, that is something that that the the engineer would be reporting to that because he's the one who's representing the applicant there. So the information that pertaining to the sewer and pertaining to the subdivision, he would forward that information to them. Okay, but the board has to approve the. We, we, if if we were to make a positive recommendation you know, for approval, then those things would take place. Then you go to the county as well. Does the, the, the board send anything to the county? Only the only the applicant. Yes, well, council president. The council does have. His hands on this particular application for different reasons. One of, one of us three would likely get it done. So someone who's in this room. So yes, yeah, so you're going to have staff, you're going to have council. Someone in this room who works for the planning department will be doing this. We're not going to be able to have the answer for you today. Mm -hmm. Does somebody have to sign in? Sign on this for the county? And then once the council receives it, they always respond. So we're going to say, you know, this type of matter is left to the, the local agency to decide, or they may make recommendations, but they'll always respond. Nothing is signed. It's usually a form that we fill out reflecting what type of project it is, providing some basic details, and then we send along the materials from the applicant for their review. So we don't know if that's been done. We'll confirm. We don't. It, Correct. It, we'll double check. Confirm. We'll double check. We want to make sure we're meeting the criteria. Confirmed by the county guide or confirmed that you send it to the county? She's going to confirm the communication if there was communication. Yeah, so that I needed to be done. If they received something, right, they have made a different response from them. Mm -hmm. So any communication is going to find out whether or not between council and staff, whether or not there's a communication with Westchester County. And we'll confirm whether the city sent it to the county. 
So in terms of answering this, who, who makes it is who makes this yeah. So the planning board is the one that is going to make the determination in terms of whether this particular application is approved or not approved. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the additional information that um, you had asked about. Um, we don't have it right now. So we're going to have to get that for you, which is going to mean that we're going to have to have a meeting in January. Okay. And then at that point in time, we will be able to answer those questions for you and then move and then move forward. So nobody. I think that this still so right. So basically, what I'm saying is that the question that you're you're asking of us this evening, you're going to have the answers at the January meeting because we're not going to be able to provide them to you this evening. Okay. My question though is simply: Has anybody from the planning board? Has anybody has any contact with Native County? No, oh, I, I understand, you know, what it is that you're requesting and asking. We don't know right now. So we have to check to see. So I don't want to say yes, I don't want to say no, because I'm not sure. And the staff doesn't want to say yes, they don't want to say no. Council doesn't want to say that. So we know, you know, what corresponds there has been. So can I ask another question or not? Which part of the people normally, which can normally bus is normally more that contact? Okay. You, you have you have we have our land use council right here, this young lady right there with mm -hmm. the laptop. And then we have three over here on the on the uh day I'm gonna say over there. Mm -hmm. Um they work for the planning department and they would be the ones communicating with the county. Oh, they would be the ones. Either not the board. Either they would mm -hmm. or the council. They would be doing it on behalf of the board. Oh, they would be doing it on the top of That is okay. correct. And you don't advise them when to do it from, as a board? As a well, board. well, right now we're advising them to please, you know, reach out, you know, probably tomorrow um, or Thursday, and then we will be able to let you know the next at the January meeting. You know what the answer is. I would like. Can I know before the gym? Unfortunately, I don't think that you would be able to know because we're not. We're not going to know before that. We're not going to know until we have a work session, which is the Tuesday right before our meeting on the Wednesday. So we're going to get an email. We're going to go over everything. So that's pretty much what we're going to know. Okay, but you can you can reach out to the staff. You can leave your information, and if they have information ahead of time, then they may be able to reach out to you and let you know. But this is this is you know kind of where no matter what you ask these questions, we're going to find out. So we're going to address them at the next meeting. Okay, thank you for that. I have another question. Okay. Okay. And my other question is, how many homes or pieces of property about a rough number of, of properties are 100 years old for in Well, the, the, the city is, you know, has a lot of older homes, a lot of the housing stock, you know, from the, from the teens, 20s, 30s. So you have a very large portion. So can't give you a number, but a, a lot, a lot of older homes. But do they have any concessions for the older buildings? I'm sorry, do they have Are any concessions? Or, um, concessions in what regard? In any regard, but the older. Uh, no, I mean, the, the only concession that I, I can think of in terms of you talking about from a monetary perspective. However, well, because I was going to say that, you know, if, if someone were to qualify and they had reached a certain age, and if there's an enhanced star program where you can get, you know, uh, you know, pay as high. As I'm not talking about the people, I'm talking about the building. So that would no, be the people. No, oh, no, that would be the 
Right. Yeah. We no. There, there's there's nothing of a historical um, perspective. We don't have the category of something that you know has. We don't have a registry, but in some areas, you know, there may be some homes that have some properties that are designated, but overall, the homes within the city are now very earmarked as uh, you know, being part of the national registry. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. That's, that, that said, uh, Mr. Badali, you know, 